Hello lovely people! Welcome to Spooky Season and the annual Kelvin Frozard Pumpkin Carving Competition. Rupert is still a little young to be breaking out the friendly household torture kit. It's a pumpkin carving set, promise. Oh, uh, you know, he also has a terrible virus. So, this year it, it will just be me carving the pumpkins. I'm afraid. But, good point, that does mean I'm gonna win. I know, normally it's my pumpkin versus Claudia's pumpkin to see who wins. Thank you, thank you so much for blessing me with the honor uh, of letting me win this year. Or can you only lose? <laughs> Thank you so much to our lovely followers on at Jesse and Claude for giving me some ideas as to what to carve into my pumpkin this year. Whether I'll actually manage to finish in the time allotted is another story. But before we get started, I'd like to thank the sponsor of today's video, June's Journey, a name you've definitely heard if you've been around my channel for a while. June's Journey is a hidden object mystery game set in the 1920s with a fabulous detective storyline and a diverse cast of characters. Each new scene works as a standalone game, but the real fun is in how they all build into the thrilling murder mystery story that uncovers the family secrets of our protagonist, June Parker. Such a 1920s name. Like any plucky, quick-witted, tough cookie, she has a knack for getting into tricky situations and a scruple heroine's ability to solve her way out of them. With your help, of course. The game is available for free on mobile devices, phones and tablets, Android and iOS, and on the desktop through Amazon and Facebook. With more than 30 million fans all around the world, June's Journey is definitely doing something right. And I think that their emphasis on including really representative narratives and writing with a varied cast of characters is a big part in that. I use June's Journey as a really nice way to relax thanks to its very beautiful graphic. And it's kind of like a light challenge. I mean, anyone else feel like they have to be challenged in order to relax? Are you even relaxing if you're not slightly on edge as your eyes sweep the screen for that last darn pearl necklace? And with that in mind, click the top link in my description to download June's Journey for free and get started playing. Oh, hi, it's also the pinned comment. I know some of you go straight to the comments before the video even starts playing. I mean, I actually do that in quite a few videos too. So hello to you, hi. Let's begin our own journey of relaxation with a little bit tension by joining some pumpkin carving where I also answer Halloween related questions. Let's find out my Halloween preferences. Have you ever made a potion? Have I ever made a potion? Um, with the intention of it working. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> surely the answer for everyone to all of these questions is yes. Surely. Yes, of course I've made a potion. <laughs> Who hasn't? What was your potion for? Um, I think my potion was to like revive a dead wood mouse. Oh, that's quite that's sweet. That's at the top of my mind. I think I made a lot of potions. The next question is, do you get scared easily? Do I get scared easily? Um, this is, a, this is a twofold question because I have an extreme startle reflex. So I don't get scared easily, but I get startled very easily. And Josie's terrified of this <laughs> because we warned her <laughs> about my startle reflex. And now you're really scared that you're gonna set it off. Yeah, like I literally, whenever I walk into a room or I'm gonna walk into a room where I know you are, I try and make as much noise as possible before entering. Like I'll do like a little fake cough or like I'll like stamp my feet harder because I'm so scared of scaring you or startling you. Oh, that's very sweet of you, thank you. I just feel like you would never forgive me if I start with you. I feel oh, like. Oh, but it's absolutely fine, everyone's done it. Claudia's done it more than times. She's actually done it on purpose a few times when we first started dating, and then she realised it was not funny for her. Because <laughs> you wouldn't stop screaming. Yeah, she did it in. Um, I was sat in the car passenger seat once, and she went into a shop to get something. I don't remember what. And then when she came out, she saw that I was sat there on my phone looking down. And she came over, and yeah, don't worry, she knows this is bad now. And she came over and <laughs> fully like face planted on the window next to me. And I screamed, absolutely lost it, screaming. And I can't, I can't control it at all. It's the kind of scream where you're, you're being murdered. <laughs> and she was just like, oh my God. And she knew before this that, this, that I did that. She knew it already, and she couldn't, she couldn't make me stop. And so she, she got in the car next to me, into the driver's seat, and was like, it's me, I'm here, stop, stop, stop! 
and I couldn't stop at all for a good five minutes. <laughs> it was just screaming, screaming, screaming. And since then, she's been like, I'm never, never doing that again. That was so traumatizing for me. <laughs> it's fine, don't mind me, just my nervous system. If you could be trapped in one scary movie, which would you choose? One of the joke ones that isn't really scary. Even the joke ones that has actually happened. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I'm disabled. Like, I don't think I'm making it out. <laughs> also, I'm gay. Like, I, the gays don't live very long. Mm. Okay, it's a zombie apocalypse. What weapon do you choose? You can only have one weapon. <laughs> this is gonna sound very odd. Uh, bow and arrow. Can you actually use one of those? <laughs> Are you joking? <laughs> There's no way you're not pranking me right now. <laughs> I was like, I'm not very strong, right? So I can't like hit someone with with something like a club. Um, I can't shoot a gun because I have no idea how. Um, I'd probably shoot myself. <laughs> Did actually win an archery in a medal. How old were you? <laughs> yeah, fat. I was, I was 11. But, strangely, every time I have picked up a bow and arrow, I have been rather good. It just feels right. It just feels right, yeah. I can see it. Okay, if you could have one spooky pet, would you choose a rat, a wolf, a bat, an owl, or a black cat. I feel like one of those is not like the others. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, one of those is definitely not like the others. Um, are one of these animals, I'm assuming, here trained? I assume, to follow my commands. I assume that they're not going to have a pet wolf that kills you. <laughs> yeah, I reckon they're they trained. Assume. They're trained, but they do have to live in your house. Okay. Well, I already have dogs, so just throw a wolf in there, why not? Imagine Walter with a wolf is hilarious. <laughs> opportunity to dress up but I say I get a lot of opportunity I take every opportunity I have to dress up including just randomly dressing up around my own house for no good reason. What's Rupert dressing as this year? <gasps> this year Rupert will be a pumpkin. So sweet him. It's really cute. Also this is kind of like a little berry hat um, and he loves a good berry and he uh, one of his new favourite hats. He even put it in his bag this morning. Like, I'm going to wear this, thanks. What? <laughs> Walter, did you just <laughs> burst your way through the other door? Okay, I'm gonna do a this or that Halloween edition. Chocolate candy or fruit? Fruit. <laughs> You're weird. I'm sorry. I've never liked chocolate. Witches or vampires? Um, despite my abiding love for Buffy the Vampire Slayer, it would be witches. Well, I never watched Buffy for the vampires. You just watched it for Buffy? I watched it for both. <laughs> Halloween party or scary movie? Halloween party! I am an extrovert. I enjoy spending time with people. Skeletons or zombies? Skeletons? Who likes bringing zombies? No, thank you. Trick or treat, or hand out the candy? Oh, hand out the candy, so much better. You don't have to walk very much for one thing. And you get to see everyone's really cute outfits. And you get to feel really nice, <laughs> because you're handing out something. And people like that. Pumpkin spice, or hot chocolate? Oh, pumpkin spice, obviously. We've just discussed my feelings on chocolate. Pumpkin seeds or pumpkin pie? Who would you see? What a weird this or that! I'm sorry, who goes? Oh yes, pumpkin seeds, absolutely. Nom nom nom. No. Pumpkin pie is delicious. I love it. Oh my god, I should make some pumpkin pie. If you were a ghost, who would you put on? Well, I don't think if you're a ghost, you actually get the choice of who to haunt. I don't think if that's how it works. That wasn't the question, Jessica. <laughs> it was who would you haunt? Okay, 
who would I choose to haunt? Um, it would probably be a political figure that I did not agree with. Because why would I haunt the average everyday person who I didn't think had, had a, a great impact on the lives of the everyday person? How are you with blood? Fine. Oh my god. So, Rupert decided on the third day of being able to walk that he was going to try running. So he ran around the kitchen island, uh, slid, fell over and smashed his face. And we thought he'd broken his nose, it was bleeding so much. Like clots of blood coming out of his nose. And I'm very good in a crisis, for some reason. Don't know why, I'm just very calm. Calm collected. Um, so I immediately just took all my clothes off because I was wearing a white dress. Um, cooled him down, <laughs> got him calmed down. So I could actually look at his face, see how he was doing. He was fine, he was fine. But yes, in the process, um, we got fully covered in blood. But yeah, absolutely fine. Are there any conspiracy theories that you actually believe? Oh, I don't know. There's not, I've not come across one that I believe. So I can't, I mean, maybe there is one out there, but I've not come across one that I think. Yes, definitely a thing. Is there any you believe? Yeah, that Taylor Swift is lesbian. It's not a conspiracy theory. I don't really know. Maybe it's just a rumour. I think that's a rumour. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that counts as like some kind of global conspiracy theory. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, probably not. You're done? I'm done. Okay. Ta-da! My finished pumpkin. I hope you like. I do. Obviously it's uh, this year's <coughs> winning winning pumpkin in the Jesse vs Claude pumpkin carving competition. Good job pumpkin. You beat all of your rivals. Not as a losing pumpkin, but we don't talk about that. If you'd like to see other Jesse vs Claude pumpkin carving challenges, you can of course watch them uh, by clicking the card up here, or I'm going to put them in the description down below. Normally we do have a lot of fun doing it together, but you know, child with virus. Maybe next year, though, we could, all three of us, carve the pumpkins. At what age do you should start carving pumpkins? Someone let me know. Probably not. There you go, my lovely finished pumpkin. I, I won against me, myself and I. Thank you again to June's Journey for sponsoring this video. Remember to click the top link in the description to download the game, start playing and indulge in your own beautiful vintage relaxation. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Mwah.